Hey, welcome back to the channel. Isn't YouTube a great place, man? It's just a, just a fantastic, positive environment. Everybody's so happy and full of vigor and working real hard on their channels. It's just a great place, man. I wish I could, I wish I could do this full time. I really do. Anyway, um, I broke my van. Hooray. I broke my 2007 Sienna. It's a Toyota van. It's got super great suspension. I love the car, but I bought this battery from Walmart and had the terminals in, rever in the back part of the battery. So I flipped it and plugged it in, zap, and I knocked out my main fuse. They call it a 140 amp fuse. They call it a linkable fuse. A What's the other ones, the things they call it? A, link a fuse link, a fusible link, a block fuse assembly. So there's all these different names because it's got all these wires connected to it. It's a real pain in the butt to pull it out. I, in the video, I must have been on like a pint of coffee or something. I kept on saying circuit throughout the video. Ignore that. I mean to say fuse. I didn't edit it out, but I did put all the other bells and whistles in the video in regards to making it funny and, and cool to watch. All the music and the whole thing. So check it out. That's happening right now, right here. On Thursday, on Thursday, don't forget. Now ring the bell so you get notification. We're going to do a online tutorial discussing ticks and ticks yeah tricks and tips and other cool stuff in regards to boosting watch time and getting subs so that you can finally make some side cash from all your work on YouTube okay we're going to talk about it i come from the perspective of you know graphics and editing and titles and and savage comes from a a high volume um uh live stream approach. So we have two schools and we're going to be both talking about our different techniques and maybe you can glean some, glean some of those techniques from either one of us. So it's going to be cool. We're going to talk about other stuff. It's going to be live. It's going to be fun. Check that out. Don't miss it. Nine o'clock Eastern, five o'clock Pacific this coming Thursday. All right. Stay tuned for the details. Talk to you later. Took a very large bite of a stupid sandwich and inserted the battery with the terminals facing the wrong way and shot the inverse polarity through the car, blowing the 140 amp circuit, which I have just purchased. I have a brand new one and I'm trying to remove this damn thing from the fuse box, which is not, not easy. easy. I'm working on it right now. As you can see here, this 140 amp main circuit has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sections. You must pay attention to the amount of sections to make sure that you have the right part. I'm going to show you the, uh, the diagram here real quick. I'm going, I'm going to put the part number in the description. This is the uh, 140 amp circuit. It's the main circuit that breaks when you, when you flip the polarity in the battery. Okay, now, the question of the day is how the hell do you get this thing out of here? And there are some tabs. Now, the question is, do I need to take the whole box out or not? I don't think you do. I don't think you have to in this model number, this year 07 Sienna CE. I don't think you do because there is no bottom to this thing. There's no bottom. Now, the question of the day is, where? how do you get those damn tabs to release from the, the main app circuit? Can you see the white piece? There's a black piece that's touching it from the outside housing. You want to separate those two. So the white tab has to be moved inward. That's inward away from the black tab. I, I don't know that you can make it out here. I'm doing my best to get it in there. I'm holding the flashlight. I'm holding the camera. So what I'm doing is I'm inserting these pieces of aluminum. I imagine that at the dealership, this is like a 30 second deal pulling this thing out of here, but whew, I got the pieces of aluminum in there. They're between the, the, uh, the, the notch and the latch. So this thing should in theory pop out, but I do not know. I'm going to give it a try and cross your fingers. That back, that back piece took a, took a while to get in there, but I finally got it. It's coming out. I'm starting to move it. God, I hope the wires are long enough in there. All right, dudes, I got this. I think I got it. All right, so here we are. Check it out. There's a lot of wires connected to this thing. We got bolts or wires in there. We got three circuits underneath, and on the other side, we have three more wires. See them? And I was able to pull it out. I can't believe it. I actually pulled this thing out of here. This is going to be great for you guys who've got this car because you do not have to take the whole box off. A lot of guys online are taking the whole thing apart. Some guys are even taking this off. I took the battery out, but actually I got this damn thing out of here. I can't believe it. So 
Um, let's take a look at those tabs again. See the tab here? I want to remind you about these tabs now that I have this removed. The tab, you have to take this notch and push it in. It has to be pushed in. So the screwdriver comes in like this, and then you put those little silver or the little aluminum slabs in here. What I did was I slipped them in like this. I hope that makes sense, you guys. I push it in with the screwdriver, and this comes over the notch, which allows me to pull it out. That is the key. That is the key, guys. Okay, now I want to say one more thing, and that is make sure you take a picture of these wires and their connection points before you take it apart. Make sure you take a picture, especially the bottom part. Take a good hard look at those three circuits and make sure that you get them right. Boy, you plug these in wrong and you are toast. Don't even waste your time using a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, to get these out of here. Use a, re a ratchet. They're in there real tight so as to combat for uh, engine vibration, okay? They actually have uh, those tensioner uh, washers on there, so make sure you use one of these. Okay, I got all the main wires uh, unscrewed. I just want to let you know that the wires on the back, I decided to put some uh, pink ink on them so that I knew that they were on the rear. And then I want to talk about these suckers here, these white things, these white blocks that go on the back. Just want to let you know that it's very simple in regards to getting these out of here. You just have to push these tabs in. See that? You see what I'm doing here? Push them in and it comes out from underneath this piece here. So you just need to pull, push in and then pull them out. Okay? And what you see right there is why the car will not work, will not come out of park, will turn the lights on, all kinds of crazy stuff. That simple little copper connection burned up when I switched the polarity on the battery. Right. Here's the new part. Okay, here's my receipt from the part. I just wanted to show you that. I got it from a company on ebay.com forward slash str forward slash oh, OC Toyota parts. Okay, $62 I got it for. Not bad. $62. Here's the part. Oh, brand new. Look at this. It's got a nice blue top. Now, here's a cool tip that maybe a lot of you guys won't think of, and I just think maybe it's a, a newbie kind of thing, but what I did was I tied ropes around each set of wires. Here's the front wires here. See that? And I have the back wire, so now I can manipulate them very easily without any tools. I can pull them out of the way when I put this new circuit in. I won't have to, you know, I can pull them up, I can pull them out of the way, I can get the box in there without too much fuss and too much trouble, okay? So you may want to consider doing that. Just a good... Okay, now I got it all screwed together. They're all on the right ports. Everything looks good because I marked them properly. Now I just need to push the sucker down inside, the, uh, uh, inside this compartment, which is not overly easy, but because it wasn't easy, getting it in getting it out in the first place so I'm just gonna have to muscle it back in okay this is fighting me pretty good and that is getting the damn thing pushed back inside the box because the the uh, I guess it's the wires that are fighting me back inside there underneath okay so I pull it back out again I can see that there's been some uh, stress applied to that one white wire right here this wire here see it there's a little ledge right there I don't know if you can make that out but it was squeezed there, that wire, you gotta watch those wires. So if it, if it fights you when you put it in, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is that make sure you pull it back out and make sure those wires are all going deep and not resting on that one ledge there. I believe this is some kind of a, I don't know, that looks like a design flaw, that shouldn't be there. Okay, this, this I got the wire out of the way underneath and the quick grip is definitely helping. As you can see, I've got it down a little bit more. I think it's gonna go. We just don't wanna force it too much. I think we're gonna get it. Okay, I did hear an audible click on this end when I pushed it down. I heard a snap. On this side I did not, but I am giving it a little tug, a very gentle tug. I don't want to break this plastic. And she does not want to come out. I can only assume. Do not grab this bolt with your suppliers. Do not grab that bolt. we will strip it. Let's give it a little happy tug. And voila, I do believe she is hooked in. Okay, the final thing here is to take this main line connector. I'm not sure what it does. It probably powers a whole bunch of stuff. You see these two side plasticky tabs here? One here and over there. And I'm sure most of you already know this because you already took it off. But what it does is it's, it comes over these two tabs here. It comes over top and slides down. Okay, so you're going to have to tug on it pretty hard. And bring it up over. There it goes. See there? Came over these two. Okay. 
And now for the final cosmetic release. Ah, yes. Look how clean that is. Boom! All right. Look at that. Cue the awesome dance music, people. We are done. Woo how much money did I just save? Yeah, get some. All right, folks, this is Scott Victor from Blue Fox Creative. I know this wasn't like my normal videos, but I just wanted to show everybody how I did this. There's a lot of confusion online. Thank you so very much again. Subscribe, like, and uh, ring the bell for more notifications. Thank you again. This is Scott Victor from Blue Fox Creative. Cue the dance music. Woo!